All right, hi, your 12, this is Mr. Lim here again, and this is our third video on volumetric analysis where we learn about the equipment. So let's have a look. We're going to find out about these pieces of equipment. So there are a number of pieces of equipment, the pipette, the burette, the conical flask, and the volumetric flask. So let's go. Pipette, it's a piece of glassware that can hold a specific volume of liquid. All right, so it's just effectively can't, uh, uh, it can only measure that one uh, specific volume, not like a measuring cylinder, which can uh, measure lots. Okay, it's so, so there might be a 20 mil pipette, a 10 mil pipette, a 25 mil pipette. Um, only one, it can only uh, do one volume. All right, uncertainty, which hopefully we'll go through at some point, or we've gone through already, um, is written on the upper stem, which is like the skinny bit. Okay, so it looks a little bit like this, where there's a skinny bit, there's a fat bit, and then there's another skinny bit and then it's kind of pointy at the end, it's all made out of glass, okay? There's this line, sorry, the uncertainty is written somewhere over here, but also there is this line, which tells you where to fill up the water to, to get your however many mils, 20 mils, 10 mils, whatever, all right? Um, so what happens is that you add a pipette bulb onto the end, it's this funny little thing, you'll see it in class, all right? A pipette bulb to suck up the fluids uh, into it, okay? And then, when expelling the liquids, uh, there's a small amount that stays at the tip, right? Just there. It's supposed to be there so you don't try and get rid of it uh, by shaking it out or anything, okay? So that small piece of, uh, small bit of liquid there is supposed to stay there, okay? So it's just a piece of glassware, that's what it is, right? Mm, next one, uh, the burette. Okay, so it's a piece of glassware that can deliver varying amounts of liquid, okay? so. This is the one which can deliver, uh, you know, different amounts, right? And it's the one that is uh, uh, above the conical flask. So the burette, oops, uh, let's see, it looks like this, okay? Just a long skinny pipe with a tap on the end, and then it's all got all the graduations, which is the little markings on the side to say how much, all right? There's a tap or a stopcock, uh, which is at the bottom here, uh, which allows you to control the rate of flow. So um, you spin it around and then you can let it, uh, the volume, the fluid flow through fast, or you can let the fluid flow, flow in slow, so slow that you can like, um, just get it to go drop by drop by drop. That's what it's built to do, okay? Graduation marks on the side, okay? To, uh, on the side of it, you use them to measure the initial and the final volume of the fluid. And that's the final volume when the reaction has gone to completion, when you stop it. So. Imagine like it's full of fluid, it starts up there, so say that's uh, 1.28 mils, and then it goes down to there, and it goes up in value, so it goes like to 19.46, okay? And so you would have to uh, have the initial takeaway of the difference, oh sorry, you get to find the difference between those values, which will be the final takeaway of the initial. Okay, so math. Okay, that's how you would get the volume that has been delivered from that thing there. Okay, so uh, that's what the graduation marks are for. They're at 0.1 intervals, but you should be able to read to the next uh, decimal place, at least to the 2, 4, 6, 8, or 0. Okay, so that's why you can read to 1.28, but you can't read to 1.27. You can read to a 19.46, but you can't read to 19.45 in theory. Okay, um, again, graduation is to 0 0.01, but uh, you should be able to read them to the next uh, decimal place, but either uh, any even value, okay? But you need a bit of practice, we'll do that in class, okay? Next is what? Uh, the conical flask, okay? So let's have a look. It holds the solution that the pipette holds. So effectively, it's just the, the container for the reaction, okay? So conical flask, oh, that's my dishwasher, okay? very musical dishwasher. Okay, so here's the burette, here's the, uh, the, and the conical flask underneath it. You've emptied out whatever solution from your pipette into your conical flask, and it's just sitting there with your indicator. Um, and so that you add the volume of liquid here, and it goes into here, and then it causes a color change um, in the solution underneath it. Okay, so you add your indicator, to your conical flask uh, to show your color change, so effectively to the uh, solution that the pipette held, right? 
Conical flask is used because the small neck, so the small neck here, uh, means less interaction with the air and can, you can swirl the solutions to mix the indicator as the two reactants, uh, as they are added together. Okay, so effectively you grab it, you use your hand and grab it by the neck here and then you uh, kind of swirl it around in a kind of circular motion to mix it as you're dropping the stuff in. Okay, so that's the conical flask, fairly straightforward. And then the volumetric flask, okay? So the volumetric flask holds a specific volume of liquids. It's very similar to the, um, the pipette. Okay, so there will be a line on it, right? To say that this is a 250 mil volumetric flask or a 100 mil volumetric flask. It's there to dilute samples so that you can do titrations, okay? So you what you do, it, uh, it holds specific volumes, okay? It's used to make primary standards, and we'll go through what primary standards are in a couple of videos, okay? Um, but effectively, a known amount of solute, so if that's a solid or a solution even, is added to it, then distilled water is added to the line on the neck, which is that blue line there, okay? The line on the neck, all right? So you add a little bit of stuff in here, and then you add distilled water so that it dilutes all the way up to that, to that line there. And then now that that uh, mixture is diluted to a certain a, a value that you know. All right. Again, the uncertainty is shown on the neck. All right. And if too much water is added, so say you added a little bit too much past that line, then you have to start all over again. Because once you've added up past that line, you have no idea what volume that is. And then you've ruined everything. And now you have to do it all over again. So try not to do that. Okay. So. That is the volumetric flask, and that's the last piece of equipment, okay? Um, it's just kind of useful to know what these things are, at least when we get started. All right, adios.